I was in Jacksonville, Florida, one of the worst um, gigs. The room is great. The club is great. What, the you... comedy zone that crazy? Yes, oh, the dude. one in the hotel? It's in yeah, the hotel, yeah. in the Ramada <laughs> Inn. And That's you stay depressing. in the suite. And I, it's a really nice hotel room for that hotel, which is the terrible hotel. Yeah. So it's the nicest place, the room in the hotel. But just knowing that every comic had stayed there before. I know. Like, even, like I saw there was like a... There was a, a glass case of like all the comedians in like frames. Like Ralphie May had stayed there, and I was just like, "What did he do in here?" Like oh, I just the, the f- be- just everything. Like just yeah, it's like a comedy condo. The yeah. wall. I don't want to know. The wall has a family tree of jizz on it. It's disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> What a hot show we have for you today. I'm so excited. I'm in a good mood, guys. I'm I'm coming in at like a two today. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? If you've been listening to the show this week, there's a depression scale. Ten is the most depressed. One is the least. I'm a two today, bitches. I got up to a, probably an eight on air on Tuesday. <laughs> Talked me down to a five. Left the studio a five. Came in yesterday at a four. Ended up at a three. I'm coming in at a two today. No one can take me up. No one can take me up. I'm a two. Um, in studio with us already. Uh, it's not the full show yet, but it's gonna be soon. Nick Yusuf is here. Welcome to the show, Nick Yusuf. Yo, welcome feel, back to the show. You feel good? Yeah. What are you at? One to ten, depression um, wise. Probably Let's be a, honest. We are probably a three or four. Okay. Wow. That's you. I was gonna guess higher. You seemed a little Cause down. Because I, I was tired. Yeah. You're. T- oh, you're tired. But you took I the did, red eye. I did meditate before I got here. Hell yes. Did you meditate downstairs outside? No, I went to Bryant Park and just sat there. And for just a sat bit. there. Now, yeah. did you do the Sam Harris one? Of course. Yeah. And and was it an open eyed meditation today? The, the it's one of my favorites because he was like, "Hey, either eyes open or close." Oh, I'm thank like, close, you. Close, I'm gonna close, take close, close on close, this close, one close, so close. I don't look yeah. like a psychopath in Bryant Park just staring straight ahead. Um, that's yeah. great. So it's you're still doing those. Oh yeah, every every day. Here every... and there, I'll, I'll miss a day, but then you know you yeah. can't feel bad about it. You just Someone do recently it. asked me what is something you do every day that isn't just like brushing your teeth, and I was like meditating. I have meditated. I probably missed a week of meditation in a year and a half, mm-hmm. and that is I feel very. It's just. I did it. I'm back on TM. I did it this morning, 20 minutes, and I and I feel great. Uh, our our other guest in studio. I'm so excited to have him back. One of my favorite comedians. One of my favorite people. Rich Voss is here. Welcome to the show, Rich. How's it going? Thanks for having me. Yeah. Do you meditate, Rich? Medicate. Yeah. Okay. That's that is different. I also do that. Well, yeah, in, Sam. I, I, I don't <laughs> We're all think, just like. I <laughs> never really tried to meditate. I don't. I think I have too much. See, I don't have depression. I have anxiety. Yeah. You Major. don't have too much anxiety. That's what everyone says to be like, I can't oh. meditate. I can't calm my mind. Yeah, you're not <laughs> unique. Everyone feels that way, Really? Rich. It's yes. Good. It's good for anxiety, too. Yes, it th- treats anxiety, man. Well, I you do other that. things that are like meditation. Mm-hmm. Like what? Golf. Golf. Oh. Mm-hmm. Which I know it brings out a lot of anger. Okay. Yeah, uh, that's not meditating. <laughs> things that are like meditating that people go, it's yeah. like meditating. It's not. And, you know, being in recovery, I should be able to meditate. Yeah. It's one of... One of the things they yeah, talk about in yeah, there? Yeah, it's meditation. And I think at this point in my life, I'm kind of too old to start anything new. No, you're not. You don't think so? No, dude. You're so young. You're so youthful. Like, you're constantly um, yeah. trying... You're staying current. You're... You read of the you you stay on trend. The trend right now is meditating. You got to check it out. It's also, not too late for you. Also, for any like for you know the, the, you can't teach an old dog new tricks thing. This is the easiest thing to try because you just uh, have to sit there and breathe. And you can't do it wrong. You can't. Yeah, there's no doing do it wrong. It wrong. Yeah. If you, you know, do it, you're doing it right. It's so it's so weird when someone you barely know calls you an old dog. <laughs> uh, yeah. You know, I mean, that's, hey, it's it's good to do radio with you, <laughs> fucking low budget Gary Goldman. Uh, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Did Wait, you I curse. A... Sorry. Yeah, no, you can. Rich is on tour right now with Creeps with the Kids tour. It's Creeps with the Kids, K, uh, Creeps with a K, with Jim Florentine, Ron Bennington, and Bobby Kelly out on tour right now. You can get tickets and uh, check out the dates at creepstour.com. What cities do you got coming up that we can? Uh, this Friday, we'll be in Long Island at the Paramount. Saturday we'll be at the Wilbur in Boston. Nice. Next weekend we're in Jersey at in Red Bank at Count Basie and I think St- I don't know Staten Island. These are four of the best working comedians all on one show. I mean this is truly this is a, a, I can't believe this tour is even happening. This show, I mean, they're comparing it with uh, the Rolling Stones tour. Yeah. We uh, last weekend we did Reading, PA, and Pittsburgh. Not. 
and I, you, you hate to say this because I'm on it, but from beginning to end, it's yeah. total slaughter. Yes. It's total, everybody People just kills on this tour. Go to the show. You will have a night of unstoppable laughter. You will feel so good afterwards. You need to get out and laugh. And this, um, yeah, I mean, I can't even believe that that's a tour that's happening right now. It's so, so funny. Fun. Um, and you're all like in good moods because you're all hanging out. Like you're not like this lone wolf on the road going oh. out. Like it's a different vibe when you're on the road with your friend. There's an energy to the show. Well, we, first of all, you go on the road, you're in the, dressing room with someone you don't know who's bringing Ugh. in friends who you don't know yes. and you're like you know and you know you're sitting there and the, the middle act is like uh you know he's selling 12 shirts in front of you you have one cd a new one the sixth one that's coming out yeah. but uh <laughs> you know so and and then and, and don't get me wrong i love comedy i love i'm a comic club comic i love yes. comedy clubs but in theaters you're not dealing with a check spot you're not dealing with somebody eating chicken wings in the front row yes you know and in the theater too the difference and you know that because you've done theaters your intro is your name you don't have to do 10 credits because people were paper that <laughs> you know were dragged from a bus stop inside right. to the club they're coming to see, see you they know yeah. what they're getting they're already excited yes. they're they're in it's it's a whole different game i mean look a theater you're, you're you have to project you're standing you're moving whatever you know, in a club, I could sit down and do an hour, sitting down, relaxed. Yeah. But yet, I'm not doing that in a theater. You know what I mean? It's it's a different vibe, and they're both great vibes. I was just saying this to Nick uh, when we were before the show, because I'm I'm going on my first theater tour too, and I was like, oh man, I'm gonna. The, I'm going to bring it in a way that I haven't at clubs before because yes. of the nature of it being the special space where people have paid a ticket. There's not chicken wings. It's a nice night out, and I want to treat yes. it as such. I'm going to look nicer. I'm going to I'm gonna give it a lot more care than I... And not that I don't care when I'm doing clubs, but it's more of a... Re, clubs are more relaxed, yes. and I don't know that you're always getting a better show because of it, but I'm really going to try this time. Well, we have a... This I have, time. I yes, am. That's I don't try. <laughs> no. I have to say, it works for me, but I don't do really... Think, Look yeah, at my yeah, notes go, before I go on stage. I don't think about what well, I'm going to do. I just do it. You, you just do it. Do you think you'll f just feed into the energy automatically when you hear that theater crowd? Yes. And you'll yes. go like, oh, I'm standing upright. I'm like, you know. When, yeah, when I've done the theaters I've done, it's just like it feels so much better than a club. It's just like yeah. there's a balcony, yeah. hopefully, of people up there. I mean, whether or not it's full, there's still a balcony. They could well, just two. do cardboard <laughs> cutouts and okay. not tell you. Two, also two. Uh, well, through, there's a couple. One, we get there, we have a tour manager. There's a, a spread of food, Ugh, I mean, a it's... tour manager. Anything you need, I get a call. Anything you need in the dressing room, you know, whatever. You're treated yeah. so much better. You, one, we're working, like I said, these are my good best friends. I mean, these are friends that I'm... Yes. I don't, like, I know the act in front of me isn't going to lay itself on fire or herself on fire. Right. You know, and also, these some of these theaters are so beautiful. Like, they were trashing me. But I was looking at the architecture throughout the theater, the, and I go to the guy. Was this molding painted, hand painted, yeah. and stuff? You know, a comedy club's a comedy club. It's a, you know, it's a. There's a lot of history. There's history and in, uh, yeah, beauty in a theater. theater. You know, when I when I did the times I did the Apollo tape those, I was on the stage, the same stage that the Temptations, Buddy Holly. Mm -hmm. You know, and there's so much history in theaters. Are those yeah. good acts? Yeah. Yeah. Are you kidding? Yeah, I'm kidding. <laughs> That's good. He's on fire. Uh, so, it's, so, it's, it's a slow burn right now. No, I, I know a lot of people build. I go right from the gate, and then <laughs> oh I, I peter out. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, you should see how they get no, rid of me. No, I was Thanks. like, so, I always, whenever I do a theater, I'm always so excited to see the musical yeah. acts that have performed there. I mean, like, as a fan of, and you know that, Nick, as a fan of music, like, yeah, at comedy yeah. clubs, you're never going to, Wilco hasn't been at a comedy club, yeah. but oh, I've been on the same no. stage as Def Tweedy when I play yeah. Yeah. whatever. Oh theater in uh, Chicago. Who do I so see? So exciting. I know, you're in a club, you see right on the wall, Paul Lee Shore was here. I know. Hey boy, I lucky know. me. <laughs> yeah. that, that would man. be That would be an old poster. Paul Lee Shore was here in 1997. Yeah, you're yeah, like, wow. <laughs> I remember leaving a gig. I was on the road years ago. Yeah. yeah I tell you, this is years ago. And I get to the gig. It's in Miami. This is before I did any TV. And it's basically like a Chuck E. Cheese, but they had comedy at night. So if you open the curtain... There were dummies. There was, oh my God. There was stuffed animals. That, Whoa. So Animatronic. I did that. I did two two nights there. And in town that night, Colin Quinn back then and Mario Joyner were ta taping their HBO specials back then. 
So I'm going, what if they stop in for pizza? And so then the next night, I went to this gig in Homestead, Florida. I drove all the way to Homestead. And it, the crowd is the worst, the worst. So I go, good night. The owner walks up, big guy, holds my hand and says, I think you guys were rude to him. I want you all to apologize and he'll do another 20 minutes. Oh my. I swear to God, he's holding what? my hand to this big guy. And I'm going, I don't have. So the third night after this, I'm driving over this overpass to this long gig. And, and uh, I get on stage. And a girl walks past the stage in hot pants with a wooden leg, and she starts heckling me. You could see her wooden leg. You don't wear hot pants with a wooden leg. It's just, it does, it's not a good look. I always say it's not a good look. Cover the wooden leg. The wooden leg, hot okay. pants crowd is going to email now. So she's heck- I'm, I'm, I'm driving back. Phones are blowing up. Yeah. After these three, I'm driving back, and I'm on this long ride, and the song Homeward Bound comes on. Oh. And tears are pouring down my face. I'm crying. I'm yeah. going, I'm so depressed. Okay. And I had to drive back to Jersey from Florida. And this is, whoa. This was just all one night years before I did anything. And it was so, oh, so depressing. So, and, and, and people Jeez. think the road is just so glamorous. And, uh. Um, even when it's bad, it's good and it's gritty out oh. there. But it is so it can be so demoralizing and so depressing. Yes. And you it makes you hate people so much. It's like working in customer service, you know, where you yeah. like learn that humans are the yeah. worst. Low, yeah, like being low a level attendant. comedy is customer service. Yeah, that's all it is. That's a good but point. what is Just papered rooms and stuff they're like, come on, go. But what's high level if you look at any of it? When you get good. Yeah, then no, people that's come a, to see you. Yeah, yeah, that's that, high yeah. level comedy, but yeah. you're still I, I, listen, you do clubs. There are great clubs. Yeah. You do clubs in New York. You do the Cellar, Gotham, the Stand. These are great clubs, you know, and in New York. Yeah. Same with, uh, you know, the, the, the store and on the road. But there's clubs out there, and you're going, I'm as good as I ever was in comedy. Yeah. How am I here? How am I in this place right now? I know. You know. In the Mall of America. And it, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm there in... Uh, <laughs> Whatever. I no. I'm. I think I'm there sometime soon too. I, that's not a bad gig. No, so I take it in February. So in I the winter. So, oh, <laughs> wait, wait. What? I take it in the winter. So I, here it's winter here, but it's warm there. At the Mall of America. In. Oh no 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 no! Yeah, I'm thinking. Like, I'm thinking our other room in Arizona. Oh yeah yeah yeah. I'm thinking yeah, of Phoenix. Yeah, the co- house uh, comedy. Yeah, yeah, I take that in February. Yes. I like that room. That's a good thing for you to. So you go places where you can play golf in in the winter. Yeah. Yeah. So it's basically I just go to play golf. Yeah, that's so nice. You have like a hobby that you care about that brings you so much joy. It, not now. I I can't hit a ball. Really? I went it's from just... a good golfer to I can't what hit a ball. What happened to you? Why? I just lose it every couple of years. Oh, okay. Completely. You'll get it back. Yeah, I'll get it back. I know I'll yeah. get it back. Yeah, uh, so, so you Anya think it's Marina a mental just thing? joined us, oh, by sorry, the way. Yeah. I want to bring her in. Uh, she was late to the show because Ian Fidance was supposed to be here, got sick, he ate some bad ass, and um, <laughs> that's what I'm guessing. He had uh, a bad serving of ass last night. He's feeling a little under the weather, and then I, the, Anya Marina to the rescue. Hi. Welcome to the show, Thanks Anya. Thanks for having me. I was just thinking, I just uh, went to a silent retreat, Rich, like a meditation thing for a week, and I've been taking guitar lessons just to get to be a better player. Player. I've never I've played music for 20 years but I've never taken guitar lessons and uh, I've been taking them about seven weeks and I forgot everything like I just had a lesson and I don't and it was like I've never touched a guitar I just Whoa. felt so something about being at the meditation retreat I feel like it like cleansed it my system it just scrubbed You're... my hard drive what do you I think be- your subconscious was telling you about playing guitar? I th- literally <laughs> think it does something to your brain because I came home and I was like, how do you even play this thing? Like, wow. this seems insane. But, I mean, I got it back eventually, but I just, I really, f- usually this I can. silent retreat, I don't even know <laughs> if it was good or not, to be yeah, honest sure. with you. There was a lot of, because we were talking about it and you went right, right back into your life. And I was comparing it to... Um, like you went right from being silent for seven days to back to your life immediately. And you need more of a transition period because it's like when people quit heroin and then they start using at the same amount they yes. before they quit you and then they die because they overdose. OD. Yeah. Like you got to ease, you, have you can't to just have go back days. on your phone. Well, I told all my friends and family, I won't be texting you for a couple of days. I need some time to get Good. back to normal. So, but I did, still, I like met up with a guy I'm dating and it was just us. For the weekend, and I thought that'll be chill, and yeah, no. But when you do a silent retreat for seven days, your miming skills go up 
to oh, a so higher much. level. Yes, you I know, can order a peppermint just, tea and do a yeah. namaste at the end. Thank you so much. <laughs> you like know. a pro. <laughs> How do you do peppermint? Yeah. You, do the, you write it on a post. <laughs> oh, okay. That makes there are post it's everywhere. I'm do. <laughs> oh, so you were communicating with post it's there? Uh, they let you do that. I only did it twice. I ordered a chocolate chip cookie twice. <laughs> I was so, it's funny, it strips away everything. No phone, no books, no, no writing books. in public. And you can't no talk exercise, to anybody there? No talking. What are you fucking, what, what do you fuck? Fuck? What is this, prison? Meditate. <laughs> it really it's feels like prison. Yeah, it does. <laughs> but then you realize what you, what your, your brain's like, what can I hold on to? So all day I'd be like, I can't wait to get that gluten-free chocolate chip cookie that's in the cafe. I would just, I'd be fantasizing about that. But or is like, that good? Like, or porn. I just would have sexual <laughs> thoughts for the first three days. Like, I was just like, come on, stop. Can you masturbate? I did. You did? Yeah. Yeah, and then I cried. No, <laughs> you did. Yes, you did. I mean, that's normal. And they're like, no man, crying. And when you're having yeah, an no orgasm. Crying. Crying's a sound. When you have an orgasm, you gotta go. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. Just like a duck. <laughs> wow. I really did. You did. Feel, did you feel like you could orgasm? Did they talk about like that you could masturbate? That seems like if yeah. you can't exercise, you shouldn't be able to do that. I was trying not to because you've got all of us on the yeah, no I orgasm I'm not plan. coming anymore. No more comedy. <laughs> Wait, what? Nope. Wait, nope. Like, I stopped myself short now every time. So you're just going to oh, edging yeah. forever? Yeah. The word's yeah. getting around? No, no, no. Well, just twice kind of a missing. year. Twice a year. Twice a year you come? That's my new plan. I haven't. Co- I came last week accidentally because I was just about to stop and then I was like, I deserve this. And then I got depressed the next day. The next day I was depressed. It was so President's then I treated Day. My, wow. I treated my depression by uh, having another orgasm because I was like, I, you know what? I'm so sad. I deserve to feel like this jolt of goodness. And then I was so depressed the next day. The next day after that, like coming tw- two days in a row, I was like, no, no, no. So this is like the hangover you get from ecstasy. Yes. But for masturbation. It's this, I'm reading this book right now that says that orgasms are like doing drugs. Like we're, we're throwing off our limbic system when all we do is try to stabilize it. Meditation, exercise, um, mindfulness is all about just calming your limbic system. And then you d- jerk off and then it's like, yeah. ring, ring. Yeah. and then the next day you expect to be normal? No, that's going to throw things into chaos. Is this, well, book, is this book called The Bible? Yeah. Is this what you're trying to... <laughs> we want to talk to you about right copies. <laughs> but also, Master, it's, it's an addiction thing too for yeah. the yes. instant gratification rush. Yes. Yeah. I mean, what do we do comedy? It's instant gratification. Yep. We're not actors or actresses. Yep you know, where you get your gratification two yeah. years later. We get it right there. So we're instant gratification junkies. I know. You know what I mean? Like yes, yesterday, my wife, for some reason, was very depressed. Yeah. Very depressed. And and I'm very self-centered. And I asked her to blow me while she was depressed because I right. thought that would, that help, would help her. her depression. Yeah. It didn't, but it helped me. Right. So, <laughs> it helped you help yeah. her. <laughs> If I'm a better, if it helps me, I can only move. help her. Yeah, that can only make her feel better. <laughs> it's better for the family, honey. <laughs> it really family. is. Oh my and the God. community. And then if you're helping right. the community, America becomes a yeah. better nation. Yeah. So I think Rich is actually doing the right thing. Thank here. you. Yeah. I yeah. never yeah. thought of treating my depression by sucking dick. Um, but it's a yeah. new thing that I'm going to look into. I think it can't, yeah, it's a distraction, of course. I used, When yeah. I used to have migraines, I'd be like, Please just stick your dick anywhere in me, like to just strangers. I'd be to my doctor. No, I, I, I just wanted Jesus. to feel something else because it feels you feel so, so much pain that you're just like fuck me hard so that it feels something else is going on. Did it work? Yeah, you so uh, migraines like orgasms mix up the blood in your head, and migra- mi- migraines are so much about like the blood in your uh-huh. like veins in your head and all that stuff. So it like surges it and it kind of resets. So it's good for I found it was good for that, but um, but even depression, I feel like yeah, just you just don't. I remember that one scene in High Fidelity when the girl, her his ex girlfriend is like crying about losing her dad. She's oh, yeah. so depressed and she's just like, he finally is like, oh my god, she wants to have sex with me and they're having sex in the car and she's like, I just want to feel something else other than sad and he's like, yeah. oh fuck, she's just using me. <laughs> but it's like, but you know, in his head he was like, yeah yeah yeah, something else, come on, yeah, let's go. Yeah, he's just yeah, ready to fuck. Exactly, oh. but I yeah, the the not orgasming thing. I mean, but I've got all my friends. Into it. No, you're only talking about masturbation, not during sex. During I don't masturbation. have sex, so I'm not like I don't have sex. You, but no, you I will. Mm, yeah, yeah. You but never when I'm in know. A, no, but my next relationship, I'm going to like no, I'm not going to come. Even, I'm going to try not to. Interesting. But, yeah. it, but it means it doesn't mean not sex. I've been over this before. It just means longer sex, more connected sex. 
better sex, but so, you just don't come. And it's annoying. Literally, Anya, you were talking about this yeah. the other day. Not coming, because you did it. Didn't you masturbate the other day and not do I it? I did, and, and I was like, yourself? I don't want to have an orgasm mm-hmm. until I see my boyfriend this weekend. Oh. And uh, and I was like, just don't do it. And uh, But then I was masturbating because I was so excited to see him this weekend. Yeah. <laughs> and that we were both going to wait. And um, And then I was like, I just won't. I won't come, and I didn't, and I was in the best mood all day. But I was masturbating, and I had so much fun masturbating, and I'm like, don't, don't let yourself come. Yeah, we always have this Jesus. end goal. It always seems like a means to an end, and you don't even enjoy the means. I was Whereas skipping around It's all around about the town. means. Listen to this. Orgasms, I've said it before. Like, what is the, uh, after an orgasm, it feels like the day after Christmas. Like, no one likes the day after Christmas. Like, it sucks. Even though you have all your presents, you're I mean, like, it just kind of is so- depressing. Sometimes you feel that way. Sometimes it's like a tune-up thing where you're like, I got to get one of the Like, for example, I've come twice since you guys started talking about all this, <laughs> and yeah. I feel good. You're so quiet about it. Thing, this is so hot. I've been talking about it on stage because I've been saying, like, the, the re- I've, I've looked at the data, and when I like a guy and I'm like, I, I feel like he's gonna be my boyfriend eventually. I'm like, okay, I'll we'll hook up. I'll let him come. Let's do this. Yeah. And then right after he comes, there is a shift. There is a definite shift where he just isn't as into me anymore. And I've narrowed it down to coming, so you guys don't get to come anymore. No more the coming. Worst, the worst. Narrowed it down. It's a, that is literally it. Before I mean, coming, he is interested in hearing about my dead cousin. He wants yes. to hear about my passion for oh. animals and veganism. He wants to hear about the, my struggles with anorexia as a young child. He's fascinated by it. Oh, yeah. Afterwards, there is yeah. just a dullness there. There is. It's just the. That's, I can just yeah. sense that it, there's a shift, and it's not even his fault. It's not like he doesn't like me. His yeah. body just doesn't need me I anymore because he came. I think. So no more comes. I jerk. I've jerked off, and I've come quick. Where I had to apologize to myself for coming quick, oh my and it, God. It, it's just so depressing. I yes. like, I'm look. I didn't mean this. I'm yeah. sorry. I, you just look so you buy good yourself today. Flowers. I, yeah. I do. I do it's, care about you. That's because I, I like you so much. It's cause. I've had to fake an orgasm by myself before. Same kind of thing. I, I'm not joking you. That sounds like it's just like a bit, but it's not. Wow. I I struggled with orgasms for so long in my life that I would just be like just. What would it look like if you did have one? And because I hadn't had one really, and so I just would fake it. And sometimes you fake it, and then you make it. Wow. Yes. So, so you, t- you took the Meisner approach to coming. Yeah. You're yes. Like, I'm just gonna be this Act person. As if. Yes. I really. I mean, sometimes when I would have sex, or when I have sex, it feels. I have such a weird relationship with sex, and I never can like picture myself doing it. Whenever I'm doing it, I'm like, you're a fraud. Like, what are you doing? Like, I just don't feel. You're in I your have head. to disassociate. And, and sometimes I'm like, pretend you're a porn star right now. Like, act like That's you're funny. someone else, and then I can get through it and have a good time. But um, but I will say, when I've been saying this thing on stage where, like, guys, you don't get to come anymore. If, you, if you're interested in dating me, no, no, come, come. You're not going to come. And I go, and I bet some of you are so turned on right now. And they all laugh because they are. <laughs> it's so hot to be like, you don't get to come. Because I know that I'm into that. All the porn I watch is, like, girls not being able to come. Like a guy being, being told able, they can't. being told they can't come, and then being told now you can. Like that's my whole, that's my bread and butter. What are the keywords for that? What, what do you mean? Search? <laughs> for a, uh, you're not allowed to. Um, it's it's called uh uh I I type in um Bossy McGee. Uh, <laughs> what is it? It is it's something. Ian Finan. <laughs> it's it's called forced forced orgasm is one of them that okay. I looked up all the time because it's like that's fun. Uh, it's okay. it, that's pretty much like um, a girl being tied up and like you have to come. You have to do you, it. Like eat, and because I I don't know about other women. I just thought everyone does this. My body fights an orgasm till the death. Don't want to have one. Wow. Everything in my body is like don't do it because it's like control. It's a loss of control and I'm obsessed with control. But it's control not to come too. It's con- it, you're controlling yeah. not to come, so it's a control. I thing. know it's a control thing. It's just like my food. It's, it's just like my exercise. It's just like my like it's about control. And it's uh, when some when I read this book and a fourth of this book, and they told me that you don't come anymore. I was like, oh, this is just like just like veganism fits into me having very regimented food things, and I can be like, I'm a vegan. That's why I don't. Yeah. eat that bread because it might have milk in it. I just don't eat bread and I want an excuse not to eat bread. But ultimately, veganism is what I believe in. But this is what I believe in too and I feel like it's the best way to live and it fits into my already like black and white thinking uh, and control stuff. But I 
Do you ever fight orgasms? Did you ever feel that way in your life? Jen knows it. Jen's been fight. Jen has never had an orgasm. Ever? Never. Never. <laughs> well, then she. That's because she's. Jen's fighting them. <laughs> no, she's not fighting them. She just doesn't know how, or the right person doesn't know how to help her get through it. Yeah, she's never felt comfortable uh, enough. But, like, have you ever tried to give yourself one? I have tried, but. Have you ever been with a white guy? Only. Only white guys. Because usually yeah. they go down and. Yeah. I know, but it doesn't really. That doesn't help you. No, no. going down when you're a girl that <laughs> hasn't had an orgasm, going down, you're That's insecure the about your way vagina. To so it's you're worse. Just, yeah, it's like really. I'm not, she's young, I'm not so insecure she's... about my vagina. I've just never. I've. I don't. I've come from oral sex like twice in my life. Get the fuck out. Wow. No, yeah. that's why. A girl could hit We're my not dick with Bonnie. a badminton racket and I'll come. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's so easy for you guys. That sounds, that's, that's what I'm searching. I, you know, Jesus Actually, Christ. that would help me come. I need more pressure down there. Oh, my God. What is the thing called? A shuttlecock? <laughs> that's perfect. Yeah. That is perfect. Um, yeah, Jen, uh, any, any advances in that? Arena. No, because now that you said that no coming is better, I'm not going to try. Wait, huh? Yeah, I know. I feel like you should have one, though. How Let's old? just see what it does to you. She's 26? Ever... 28. 28. No, 27. 27. I'll be 28, yeah. Okay. Have you ever done Never had an orgasm? Never, no. You, what, see, I don't like to ask this stuff. It's personal, and no, somehow she's... it's going to come back to haunt me. Okay. Do you do, you do things with yourself? No. You don't, you don't? I mean, I try, but it doesn't, No. I you don't myself. you don't I see it through. I, you're the yeah. same as me. Like I used to try to, I used to try to masturbate. And as soon as it would start to feel like I just didn't have the patience for it, which you probably don't, because no. it's gonna take yeah. a while because you don't even know what to what you have no concept of what that's even gonna feel like. Yeah. It's wild, Jen. You gotta have one. Wow. <laughs> They're amazing. You like just go... have one. We I'll got go, I'll Did you again. try the the one that I got I did, the, the, with I the did. suction? But that yeah. What happened? My mom was home. So. Okay, so <laughs> will you try it again? I am rock this hard weekend? right now, just so everyone knows. I am ready to go. <laughs> do, do you have a puppy? I do. Oh, no. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> I used to put my dogs out of my room whenever I would masturbate, oh. and they would they would want to get in, and so they'd go like this on the door, and it would just sound like this and so that sound became associated with me coming so when they i would lock them out and just want to take a nap and they do that i'd start to get wet just because wow. my body would be like Pavlov's Pavlov's dogs. dogs yeah wow it's funny when, start to my pussy salvates when me and, when bonnie and i have sex because the dog will be on the bed and we do it from behind so i know she's looking at something she loves <laughs> 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 That's generous. One time, I was getting it on the couch from behind, and my dog Luigi came up and started licking my face, and I was like, "This is like a gangbang." Like, like when a guy's making out, yeah. like it really did feel. I was like, "Get the fuck away, Luigi! What? What? You're not part of this." One time, we were. This is we were having sex. Okay, so the baby's in the bassinet at the time. Uh, I have a little bullet going down there mm -hmm. as I'm having sex. Mm -hmm. We're both trying to look at porn. Mm -hmm. It looked like a fucking Salvador Dali <laughs> painting. Having, as we're doing this, as I'm doing this, I'm shaking the, 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 the bassinet so the baby stops crying. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's how fucking bad we wanted to have sex that night. That's so hot. That's back when we liked each other. No, no you we should love have each heard other. your wife last night talking. Oh my God, she, she was gushing about Dude, you. Dude, like legit gushing. Yeah, like, I, she was like, I'm... Well, maybe I mean, we shouldn't like, tell him this. I know, I don't want to... I feel like it's it's out of place. I don't care Do about you know that. Did she talk about my comedy? <laughs> she didn't mention Has she told any... you lately no. that she likes you? Yeah, yeah, because... I'll tell you off the air why. Yeah, we know why. We know why. <laughs> why? We know why. She's <laughs> into you. She's How so, many years? It was, it was so hot to me <laughs> yeah. hearing her talk about you because I want what you guys have more than, like, you're the model of the relationship that I want. And I know you guys oh, yeah. aren't perfect, but no one is. And I've, I just see the... Well, from what I can tell, it seems really good, even the hard times. And I don't know what the, the yeah. details of that, but it just seems... Like a great relationship, you just laugh together so much, but she's yes. so sexually into you right now. It was so hot to hear her talk about, like she was talking about you, like she was like a, it was a new crush. Yeah, like that's how she, she hot she is for you right now. Well, so like, take but also that and like go. No, blushing that's, that's very and giggly, oh, isn't good. it so hopeful? Yeah. Yeah. 
they've been together so long, and she like was like, I don't know, like I'm really. I just didn't know that was possible. Right I, I just Rich thought like, is a man. I didn't get her to he clean like... my bathroom. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> I just thought after year three, it's like, oh, then yeah. everyone stops fucking. I know. Like you have to have a I kid thought. then, and then it's over. Well, we don't we don't have sex like we used to, but sure, we, yeah. But we the main thing we do, and it, like she said, is nobody makes me laugh like her. Yes. she makes me laugh. That's important. <laughs> Even yeah. when she's yelling at me, yeah. or you know, I mean, mad or yelling, but. I start. She goes. It brings you joy when I'm upset. But she <laughs> stops her her rant, her her yelling, like she's walking off stage almost. Yeah. She'll exit out <laughs> She'll of the drop room. The mic. She'll yeah. exit out of the room like good night. I'm yeah, gonna, thank yeah. You. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's so. She goes upstairs and talks to Tim Dillon. <laughs> <laughs> and that's no, no, but, nobody's that fucking mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> well, it okay. takes a certain man to be attracted to a powerful woman like that. Like yeah. a lot of guys we know, you know, whether they're comedians that. W- male comedians who won't date a female comedian or in my case male musicians who will say like openly I don't want to date a woman in this field I think they're threatened by a powerful woman but you're not no not at all well I I, 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 see I don't look at it as powerful I look at her as creative she is as creative as anybody I know like I could never but like I I, I, the power like I look at her like she can write, direct, do stand up, and I'm looking at her like going, "Holy fuck, she's brilliant!" I could just do stand up. But so many she's... guys don't even have that on their list. They're Pedestal. like, "She's yeah. got to be hot." Yeah, I she's look up to be her. Young. That is it. We were just talking about this. That's Some so cool. I was just getting my hair and makeup done, and the makeup artist was talking about how she's like, "I just noticed that like all of my friends' happiest relationships, the guy is younger than the woman." And I was like, "I don't think it's about age so much as it's about in a relationship." And I've heard this countless times. The man should always like the woman more than the woman likes the man. Like he should feel like grateful to be with you, want to yeah. be with you, and the woman should be like respect him and like honor him and all those things. But the balance should always be slightly. He likes you more, and with younger guys, they tend to be like, "Oh, I need to be a man because I'm younger than this woman," and so they tend to like uh, yeah. pe- put a older woman up on a pedestal just be- for, by virtue of her having well, more experience. That's probably right. when when guys get older, they figure out. I think that's that's what to go for. But when guys are younger, they think like, "Oh, the the way to always like a girl more is just to have her be smoking hot." Yes. But then you eventually get used to that, like anything else. That but is boring. To always have a woman that yeah. you respect, who's creative, that you admire, like that. That's you got, nice to hear. You got to go through a, a, a lot of mistakes she, to figure out i'm not very affectionate as her you know i'm just how i was brought up it's really nice to hear you say that because i that is the what i want in a relationship is someone to be like god she's so funny like the what i'm best yeah, at when a guy tries to be too cool and not laugh at my shit when they're too over aware they're 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 but, insecure that they're not funny because they're not yeah. And yeah. because they're a normal dude that does, they're like they competitive be. for no reason, yeah. and they yeah. try yeah. not to laugh. Like I had, I dated this one guy that used to be like, "You're literally the funniest person I've ever met in my life," and I'm like, "Well, you haven't met a lot of people then, because I'm there's." Believe me, I'll introduce you to some people. But he used to always say that you're the funniest person. I go, it's so funny you say that because you've never once laughed at anything I've said. Yeah. Because in the moment, he would never give me a laugh because it showed weakness to him, I think. Or it showed that he was giving, like, it, there was some, th- how could I both be the funniest person and you've never, and I know when you that you've never laughed because I pay attention to those yes. things. And he's like, yes, I have. And I was like, never once have I made you laugh. So it, that just shows me that men are actively trying not to celebrate the one thing that I'm actually confident of is yeah. being funny. Yeah. And like I tend to go for guys that, I mean, my last boyfriend actually thought I was the funniest person in the world. And that felt so good when I would catch him looking at me like you're describing, yeah. where I would just be like shining. I'd be in like in a, a monologue and I'd be like killing in a room. And I would just see him be like, like just that was the best feeling ever to be appreciated for what I'm, I know I'm good at, as opposed to like, you're so, I want to fuck you so bad, which right. also feels good. But yeah, I think I need someone to think, I think that's a new, I have a list of requirements for my next boyfriend. They need to think I'm super funny. And that didn't used to yeah. be on it, because I was like, I know I'm funny. I don't need a guy to think I'm funny. Yes, no, I do. it feels so, great. So that's number one on the list? Yeah. It's got to be up there right. Because now. you want to be seen. We all want to be seen for who we are, and that's a yeah. core part of your talent, your being, like the thing that really makes you you. It's like what Rich sees in Bonnie is the core Bonnie. Yeah. You know? And that's what she loves about you, like, too. It's, it's like you're so funny. She said, she goes, I don't care if you talk to girls or other comics. I don't care. 
But she goes, if I see you laughing at me, nah. yes. I'll, I'll break her fucking arm. Yes. <laughs> like, <'cause laughs> Agreed. That's great. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching that clip that you just watched. Did you enjoy it? I hope you did. If you did, thumbs up it. Why don't you subscribe? Why don't you just keep watching more videos? Let them play. Share with your friends. Go share on your Instagram story. Go just have a great day.